What's up, everybody, and welcome to Norway Action on Sikorak. Hello, Sidika. Hello. Excellent. We are back with Rush Neil uh, Neil Pert. Yeah. Neil Pert. Yeah. Uh, there was someone saying I was saying it wrong, but uh, that's how uh, the saying saying it when we look it up. Neil Pert. <laughs> and oh, uh, this is this Neil Pert? I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, but drum solo that the drama. Actually, because it's a uh, German upload, but this is in higher quality, so that's why we take this one. It's uh, the same as the the older one, um, so there should be no difference. Um, so t- this is a drum solo. I'm actually really excited because we have s- we we know he can do a lot, and we have also seen him throwing sticks and do. He's really really tight in rush, but we haven't seen we have seen bass solos and guitar solos a lot. Uh, But we haven't seen a drum solo. So this is gonna be the first time we're gonna react, and I'm so excited. I mean, Russ is one of the most fascinating things to react to because they never disappoint me, and I really listen a lot to the songs we already have been reacting to because I wanna wait with the rest with you guys. Uh, but uh, I was happy when I saw okay, we have actually one more um, Russ um, coming, and that's a, a drum solo. So. Um, I'm really, really excited. So let's just jump into it, man. Are you ready, Silica? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go.
<laughs> and you ask why he has so many drums. <laughs> Now you know. <laughs> He's not just for uh, the look. It's also from, uh, also for um, the performance. Wow, that was amazing, man. Yeah, I was also. How could he play that note at uh, the, the, the the trumpet note? But okay, then he. But as you can see. The, lo the last song, I don't know it uh, and stuff, but I could see it was some old, it looks like some jazz or swing. So that's maybe what he's, um, yeah, he's, his age maybe, uh, he grew up with jazz and uh, and swing and and stuff. And that's the same thing with um, John Bonham from, um, I, I remember I saw uh, actually a drum teacher reaction uh, where he's also uh, telling that uh, Bonham... Uh, She's actually in that area with a lot of jazz drummers and stuff. Uh, because they have also been inspired from some older one than themselves, right? Uh, and then they just moved the jazz and swing to a more uh, progressive on rock uh, base. Especially Rush is very progressive. But at the last part, you could really hear the jazz and the, and the stuff, right? So uh, he's amazing, man. They really, really... I re that was really a part uh, that surprised me. Uh, I think. Uh, oh. <laughs> that one, dude, dude, the the, the whales, or uh, what do you call it? It's, it's uh, uh, also you're doing with, with weddings. Is also he's doing dude with his um, feet, and then he's uh, playing so much with his hands. This is amazing. <laughs> Oh, ah. that's really really impressive to keep that i really love when uh that was but all all the thing here was amazing but that that really was wow um and also really nice that he used so much sounds uh like uh yeah i don't pronounce them right you know i call them xylophones but uh, the, there was something else but you also the synth uh, and the cowbells cowbells we know that uh, that's an amazing uh so, um, and he's moving so much around and... It, he turned around? Yeah. The drums turned around. Bongo, Bongo, I think there was some Bongo too. Yeah, no, he, have, he might have everything actually. I think you have every drum you can have. <laughs> <laughs> so, for almost nine minute long drum solo, it wasn't boring at all, as it could be with everyone else doing it, like... Uh, amateur stuff uh, maybe uh, okay even a professional it's really really hard to to keep for nine minutes going he was i guess my my thing is i think he's um a, a step ahead so yeah. when he's doing a, a thing and uh, and is, is about to be boring and, and ending he already know what he's gonna do next because he have to switch he have uh, that's the thing with the solo right he have to do something uh, other beat other thing and then uh, build it up again you can't just play the same thing for uh, th that would be boring you have to slow down and, and switch and stuff so and um, as you can see he, he completely nailed it uh, with with um, yeah it, it was even uh, like it was a story with all the extra sounds and stuff uh, yeah it wasn't boring at all really 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 impressive and he can hit the, the drums really fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, he, he can do everything. Yeah, yeah. With the, with the that's always something uh, that's impressive uh, to see the, the the fast. But again, if you see that for nine minutes straight, it wouldn't be so. But yeah, at the last. Yeah, he but he could hit it fast too. What? When he, he was a, uh, uh, I don't know what it's called. Playing drums. Playing. Dr really, <laughs> I don't know what it's Hitting called. Hitting the drums. <laughs> Hitting the drums. <laughs> Sometimes it uh, was going so fast that you couldn't see it. Yeah, because he can. Uh, I actually don't know the English word, but uh, also when you, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's also really, really need to. Uh, and he, it seems like he can also hold it the old way. He also holds the the drumstick the old way, uh, where it's in the yeah uh, in the side uh, of the hand. Uh, the, the, You're the, holding that like this, right? Yeah. Instead exactly. of yeah, but he, as you can see here, it's, it looks like he's he's doing it. Uh, yeah, here he's, he's playing normal, uh, yeah. normal. Is, but it was a more old school uh, way. Also, I think Buddy Rich, he's doing, he's he's playing very. He's also older, by the way, but uh, he's he's playing more old school. So that's that's the 
the one, the three people. And I know people say Keith Moon, but actually I will disagree. He is really, really good. I love his energy. We will react to him someday. He he was uh, crazy. Uh, we haven't we haven't uh, reacted to Keith Moon and the Who um, yet. We will, but um, no one have asked for it. Uh, <coughs> so uh, someday we will. But uh, he was amazing too. But and again, remember this is subjective. So it's not like I'm right and you're wrong, or you're right and I'm wrong. This is I. Uh, you can also take some heavy metal drummers. They are crazy too uh, uh, technical. But again, if you don't like the style of the music and sp- uh, jazz music musician is great too, swing musician. But I don't really like it, and this is really uh, dangerous to say. But actually, maybe it's because I'm not understanding it. I can listen to it and stuff, but it's not that uh, I, I I never want to play jazz and stuff. Uh, it's not my kind of music. I'm I'm more into rock and roll. Um, I like when the when jazz musician trying to put some in the rock like he's doing and Queen, you know, um, Queen, uh, what is it called? Eric Clapton. Oh, we have also been reacting to him. The drummer from there, he's, by the way, really deuce back. Uh, uh, that is a long story with him. He's being really rude. So, uh, he, he's, there's a lot of memes with him, by the way. But let's not get into that. Uh, but he's really rude. Uh, but uh, he's also a great drummer, uh, a jazz drummer, uh, where he's put it into psychedelic rock and uh, really, really amazing. And uh, I really like when they do that. But uh, he is one of my favorite drummers here on the bird because he can do so much. Uh, and also, if you guys are right, and you always are, so uh, in saying he's uh, writing a lot of the lyrics, which make no sense to me because it's never sync, but uh, amazing he could do that too because... That's uh, not what you expect a drummer like this. You expect him to sit in the uh, drum set uh, 24 or 7 and just um, practice because it must take uh, millions a uh, year of, of practice to be that good. One thing is to play the drums, otherwise it's to play storage with the drums and understand the drums so good as he's doing. I mean, the Russ is my favorite trio for sure. Before it was actually Queen, but now it's for sure Russ. They're yeah, way better and not technical only, but also the sound they can make. And you really also like them. Not mm. saying that they're oh, not like mega that ah, they're okay and stuff, but you really like them. It really surprised you, actually. Yeah. What most surprised me is still that when I ask people I know nearby here, also older, like your dad, they don't know Rush. And again, my, my, my theory is that um, when they was young, Rush wasn't playing much again. The, your dad was growing up in the actually in the eighties, uh, and uh, it was a lot of Metallica, Iron Maiden, um, also still the seventies songs uh, was going on. But Rush, no, they don't know them, and that's actually surprising me uh, because this seems to be really really big. But the fans they have are really dedicated, as you can see, are dedicated. You can you can see um, on the comments that they say they have seen them. Eight times, twenty times, uh, not twenty, uh, twelve times, and try f- four times, and and if you do go to a Rust concert so many times uh, to your favorite band, it means you're a really big fan. And even if you sit here and watch our reaction, it also means that even after so many years, you still really like the one said he was uh, watching, uh, listen to Senado uh, every day since the yeah. 20 plus years or even more i, I don't remember um so um, i'm just saying that uh, i hope we get in more into us i really like them mm. um yeah but that's it are you done i really like it too okay it was really good mm. and the drums some sometimes when he uh, played the drums it uh, some of the drum sounds uh, remind me a little bit of uh, the safridu drums yeah. Yeah. they use you guys maybe don't know Safadu. There's a Danish actually. It's a two man band. Yeah. With drums. Yeah, you you might know the Bongo songs. Also the the famous uh, El thing. I don't. The amazing drummer. Uh, he's uh, also uh, did a one player uh, while he's playing the the song. It's an okay famous song, but not that big. Uh, but in Denmark, it's pretty big. Um, so um, but yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, sometimes when you hear it, like oh, that's. So they might be so. inspired by him or Led Zeppelin, actually, yeah. because uh, they grew up with them. So that's... Russ have inspired a lot of people, also on bass. I remember seeing, and I only knew that song, you, you said, 
so many. It was always play that song on bass, always. And that was only bass, right? And then we have the, the drums uh, on so many songs and guitar too. They are so good, man. Um, so, yeah, anyways, we we'll see you next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.